10 hours. I spent over 10 hours building this. Can you believe that? Over 10 hours building this little car, a little four stud wide car out of Lego pieces that holds one single person. I mean, how ridiculous of a concept is that? 10 hours of actual work. And I was accounting for time conservatively. It was probably closer to 11, but I'm just going to call it 10 hours or a little bit over 10 hours to be on the, the understating side. My whole purpose of going about this, this work was just to create another small car to put in my Lego city. I thought it was going to be a fairly quick thing. I wanted it to be unique. I wanted it to be different. I wanted it to not look like any of my other vehicles. I wanted it to not look like anybody else's vehicles. I just wanted to, you know, play around with some different techniques and different parts, using things in different ways, and just see where I would go with it. I had a general idea of an overall shape that I, I kind of wanted to go for with a wedge front and a relatively stubby back. But beyond that, I kind of just let the, the parts talk to me and, you know, just experimented around. I recorded the first roughly three hours of the process and I've just sped it up tremendously here and eventually I switched to a different format and eventually I just gave up because I realized that in order to show the process in a, a video that people would want to watch more than 1% of, I would need to speed it up so much that it would be essentially unviewable anyway. So I just went through the process the way that I normally do for most of my mocks that are created basically on the fly, you know, without any any plans, any specific end goal in mind or, or super well-defined end goal. Sometimes I have an end goal that, that is just a picture in my mind, but usually it's it's a fuzzy picture at best, and I'm willing to negotiate with that picture and to try different things. And I just used different pieces, tried different things, went in different directions, changed directions, and eventually got to a point where I liked where I was going, but I had a tremendous difficulty getting everything attached at the back of the greenhouse. So basically around the, the rear window, connecting the side windows to the back of the roof and ultimately to the rear deck because it was going to need the entire roof and window subassembly to be attached to the rear deck or to the uh, basically above the rear fenders or above the rear axle and that's what took me the most time out of everything I was just going back and forth trying different things and just hitting a wall repeatedly again and again and again and again but eventually i got through it i figured out a way <laughs> it's very sketchy but uh, does not stress any pieces it, technically the connections on this are all completely legal, although I can't really call this a legal build because, like I said, many of the connections are sketchy. They're not very durable. For instance, the entire upper section, that whole top sub-assembly with the, the windows and the roof, that's all connected with just one single stud on one side. It's it's inset one stud. One stud. I believe it's under here or under here. I think it's under here, though. One stud connecting all of that down and it's in a proper position another thing that was difficult was positioning these sides because they're attached deep inside and it's not as simple as it looks because there's a person in there i needed to have a, a full oh, i wanted to have a full minifigure inside this thing and i wanted the wheels to roll and like i said i wanted all the connections to at least be non-stressed you know nothing being forced into a position that uh, that really it shouldn't be in and uh, nothing being bent or anything like that and this is the end result maybe somebody watching will think it looks kind of cool probably a lot of people watching will think it looks absolutely terrible and was a waste of my time and fortunately for me i don't care what anybody thinks about it because this was about the process this was about perseverance it was about having an idea having a concept, having a desire, and fulfilling that, seeing it through to the end, even though it was unreasonably difficult and took too much time. 
I could easily have just given up on my, my general concept, my general idea here, especially after an hour or two or three of beating my head against the connection from the ultimately from the roof and the windows to the rear deck. But I, I stuck with it and I ended up with, with something. It's not ideal. I wish that the back window area looked a little bit better. I wish that I had more pieces in different colors so I didn't have to go between so many colors. But uh, I was definitely not going to wait a week or week and a half or something for a BrickLink order to come in just for this one project. I just wanted to make a car, you know. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. So I definitely needed to limit myself to stock on hand. And yeah, some of the pieces look like they're not at perfect angles. Uh, I said they're not stressed. I meant they're not stressed. They are definitely not stressed. Just uh, some of the things are connected with a minimum number of parts. A lot of things are whole sub-assemblies are connected with just one stud each, like the entire side of the car on either side is attached with one stud, goes through a number of direction changes. So not everything is going to line up perfectly uh, without spending a lot of time just carefully going through and trying to get all the all the, the seams to have the exact same distance and everything. The build matches or, or meets my needs, it meets my own personal constraints. It is a success for me and now I'm gonna be able to put one more custom vehicle on my road or on some road in my lego city and move on to the next thing will the next thing take this long i sure hope not it it was not uh it was not enjoyable to lose that much time to this but it was definitely a fulfilling process to get it done to to do it and uh, I, I learned some things i learned some new techniques that uh i think makes sense i made use of some of those one by one brackets, actually a bunch of them, both the up kind and the down kind, uh, in places where only they would save the day. And um, I think I learned some things about some dimensions of some parts and how to fit some things together that I hadn't thought of previously. But yeah, there you go. It's just one car and it took me over 10 hours to make it and now you've seen it and you've probably skipped through most of this video and watched a total of one minute of it for one or for 10 hours of my work and that's okay because ultimately like i said this is just something for my lego city and i'm going to move on to the next so hopefully the next will go more quickly and i'll pretty soon have a bunch of stuff going around in my lego city again since i took out all of the or almost all of the non-custom, you know, actual Lego design vehicles. Thanks for watching. If you've made it to this point, I'll talk to you again uh, pretty soon.